Well, hello, hello, Glam Squad. How are you all doing? So I promised you a video tonight. So excited to talk to you. I know it has been a while since we've had the chance to do a training video. I hope that you all have had an awesome summer. And just wanted to let you know, I wanted to remind you that we have the contest for Monday. So your name goes in a drawing, everyone who places an order on Monday. And it go, your name will go in a drawing for a free product bundle. Also, for those of you that um, I think one consultant mentioned to me that she may not get paid until the first. So now we also have a recruiting drawing. So for anyone that recruits a new team member between this weekend and Monday, your name will go in the drawing for a free product bundle as well. So also a product I wanted to share with you that we had. Um, you'll notice my skin. Of course I have on eye makeup, but even when I don't have on eye makeup, I get compliments all the time that my skin is glowing. So in case you have not tried our Miracle Beauty Oil, it retails for $14.95. It is like a miracle in a bottle. I totally love it. I use it every night. I use it in the morning sometimes, but not a whole lot because um, I tend to sweat on my face and then and I get oily through my t-zone so I don't use a lot of it but I use it every night after I wash my face and it has argon argon I cannot talk tonight argon oil marula oil and black currant seed oil and it is amazing it has like this really soft um kind of minty scent to it but it just makes your face just glow so I use it all down my neck my decklace hay and my face so you will love it so just in case you're thinking about you know what can I do to get my skin to look more youthful more bright you're going to want to try our miracle oil and try it on your clients and it comes with a really great dropper so you can drop it out I will say that once you get to the bottom um, it's a glass bottle the dropper doesn't go all the way to the bottom so at that point when the dropper doesn't touch you know, I have to pour it out, but I've gone through a bottle of it already. Um, but again, that's it gives me glowing skin. Totally love it. I put it on the backs of my hands as well. So I told you I wanted to share with you just some really um, cool ideas, some things I um, have been researching and studying for you all to help you be more successful in your businesses. And so let's get started. So the easiest way to get started building and growing your client base, I took a bunch of notes. So the video may be a little long, but that way you can go back and rewind it and replay it. But the easiest way to grow your client base is to get product on people's faces. One great idea that I shared with one of our team members um, who is also a makeup artist is this is what she could do. She could offer one-on-one -on -one makeovers. And I've shared with you all in the past that when I've done the one-on-one -on -one makeovers, I make way more money than when I set up at vendor events or when I have parties. Um, or even from website sales because people just love the one-on-one -on -one connectedness of a relationship. So you can offer one-on-one -on -one makeovers and for every one-on-one -on -one makeover we do as a company, that person normally spends on average $150 to $200, which is awesome. So here it is, somebody's coming over to your home or you're going to them or you're meeting wherever. Um, for 45 minutes to an hour and you get to take home $150 to $200. So that's huge versus a vendor event where the sales are the same. So for those of you that have done vendor events, you know that it takes time to set up. You go there, you have to pay for lunch. Depending on how long it is, you're paying for your breakfast and your lunch and a snack. You end up spending money at other people's booths, which is fine because I love vendor events for the exposure, but I go there now with the mindset of recruiting and with um, positioning the company and not just with selling products. So when you go to the vendor event, I can set up and do a 45 minute makeover in the conference of my home. I have all the products back there that we have in stock. And then, um, or I can go to a client's home and I can give her a makeover for 45 minutes and make upwards of $200, $300. So, if I go to a vendor event, I'm going to have to be there for four to eight hours depending on how long it is and if it's a two-day event. And then what if you do a two-day event and you end up with $200 in sales? Now you have a bunch of names, but I could have made the same amount of money just doing one client at home versus four to eight hours. So the efficiency for me is I maximize and love the one-on-one -on -one connectedness of the, um, the girlfriend time and the glam overs at home and at other people's homes or doing private events. So I wanted to share with you that of course you have to decide on your business model and what works for you but let's talk about the numbers. So yesterday we shared a document and, and I uploaded it so I encourage you if you haven't looked at it yet to open it up, look at the file and there are some fantastic ideas on there. Um, there's a sample schedule, there's a sample of people you can reach out to, um, a sample of who, what to do every day for your business to move it forward. 
and it just has tons of great information and it's a great reference tool so the document had a sample schedule on it and tons of great information reference creating consistency in your business so let's say you work just two days a week and on those two days you complete four glam overs or four makeovers that would equal a minimum of hundred and fifty dollars because I said the average glam over you're gonna sell hundred and fifty dollars worth of product so that would equal hundred and fifty dollars times four clients right so that's six hundred dollars well you already know that as a consultant you get with Glamour Cosmetics you get fifty percent off so that's three hundred dollars for three hours worth of time which equals hundred dollars an hour like that's crazy so I don't know how many of you currently make a hundred dollars an hour I know that I don't with a real estate client unless I close them in under 30 days right so how many of you can make a hundred dollars an hour and if you multiply that by two work days a week then during that week then that's six hundred dollars in extra income just in that week alone but let's say you just said no I'm just gonna work the two days and I'm gonna do four people a week so two days of work four people a week at um, $300 times four weeks times 12 months then your annual additional income is $14,400 so I'm going to say that again so the average makeover is $150 is what you're going to be able to net I mean take home at the house times four people is $600 so if you take the $600 gross money you earn divided by the 50% or multiply by the 50% that you earn as a consultant um, commissions you're gonna have three hundred dollars for just three hours of time so that's a hundred dollars an hour and then let's say that you only work two days a week so on those two days that means one day you're doing two clients and the next day you're doing two clients so that's a total of four people a week times four weeks times 12 months your annual income from selling just lipsticks eyeshadow skincare foundation etc whatever you're selling would be an additional fourteen thousand and four hundred dollars I mean can you go to your boss right now and say I'm an amazing employee I'm an amazing manager I'm an amazing whatever and I would like a raise of fourteen thousand four hundred dollars what do you think he's gonna be like yeah no she's gonna be like yeah no because companies are downsizing companies are cutting back and so we talked about this our industry of direct sales and network marketing you're going to want to study the industry and become a master at your skill it is growing by leaps and bounds for this very reason because people want to set their own hours people want to enjoy their lives they don't want to work all their lives and what does an additional fourteen thousand four hundred dollars look like for you what does an additional three hundred dollars a week look like for you that's cool like that's spa money but we talked about all that stuff so I won't get sidetracked but can you go to your boss right now and ask for a fourteen thousand four hundred dollar raise right so three hours a week one day a week or two days a week to earn and close to fifteen thousand dollars up to fifteen thousand dollars annually I mean it's what you could make that's approximate so then the next page my pages got stuck <clears throat> and how have you guys been doing I hope well I miss you and I love you and then what is another way you can earn income cash and carry so of course you know that whoever has inventory on hand they have the opportunity to, to be a walk-in talking store they can call their clients and say hey I have this in stock so for example the miracle beauty oil um, we have I think there's two in stock this may be the only one because I've sold them so this may be the only one we have left on hand but the order goes in Monday so we're gonna order order more but with the winter time coming up and especially those of you that are in the colder and drier climates this is an amazing accompaniment to someone's skincare routine for them to add to our skincare line if they're already using our products and then did you know that at least 100 or should I say 95 of Macy's stores are closing down pause break what does that have to do with what I'm talking about well this is what it has to do with what I'm talking about so what does that mean to you well probably not much if you're just the general public however as a business owner those closings represent the closing of those stores represents an opportunity for you to gain business because with the closing of those stores that means that all of their makeup counters are closing so their Clinique counters are closing their Mac counter their Lancome counter, their Fashion Fair counter if they have one, um, 
I can't think of any other counters that they would have at the department stores, but you know, for whatever is in your area, that means that all of those makeup artists and beauty consultants and beauty professionals that work at those um, within those stores, they're losing their jobs. This is a perfect opportunity for them. And then it also means that the customers can no longer go to that Macy's to purchase their products, right? And what if they're diehard Macy's fans? But what people are looking to do is be serviced and pampered and made to feel special because there, it just doesn't exist in the world anymore. When we get great service, it's like, gosh, you want to stay with that person and those people and those companies. You want to be loyal to them. So the closing of Macy's represents a huge opportunity for you in your market so you're going to want to start going to targeting Macy's um, makeup counters and just you know building relationships online and building relationships offline with those women with those professionals it could be men they could be makeup artists there too and then who do you know that's getting married who has a prom coming up who wants a spring makeover well spring's gone who wants a new look who wants a fall makeover these women and all women that we know need our help, right? And they want to be made to feel special. What woman doesn't want to feel pampered? You get to provide a service that very few companies get to provide. You get to provide convenience, luxury products, fun, and excitement through your Glamic Cosmetics business. So let me set the mood for you. So this is what I did was I set up how can we create like an amazing client experience with our one-on-one -on -one appointments or with our glam overs or through our company that women remember and then they want to refer us to other people because it's huge now attraction marketing and the law of attraction so we're going to talk about that on another video but how can we create a client experience that builds brand loyalty that then makes you look like the professional makes you look like a luxury service provider with amazing cosmetics line right so and it sets you apart in the marketplace so it's 3 p.m. or 6 or somewhere between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. in the afternoon or the evening it's whatever hours you've chosen to work your business so stay with me so she arrives to you or you arrive to her and you have everything you need to provide your client with an amazing glam over or makeover experience you turn on some jazz via your cell phone or either you ask her to, is her laptop set up and you cut on some jazz music and then maybe you have a net warmer that can be heated in the microwave right so I have a net warmer upstairs and it has rice in it you can put it in the microwave and it feels so good on sore and tired muscles are just really good after a long day at work so you can put a net wrap around her um, neck and possibly you can have some small bottles of wine that you've previously chilled and you've brought them with you in one of the little cooler lunch bags like the igloo or the lunch bags I just bought one at Family Dollar for six bucks but I don't mean carrying a big old bottle of wine that you got to have a corkscrew and all that good stuff. But Sutter Home Barefoot Wines, they sell, the, um, or you could do the box wine, which I heard those are really good at Sam's. You can do the little bottles of wine that you can get from Walgreens that have just the screw off top, right? You're just trying to create an experience. You're not trying to go to the store and spend a bunch of money and buy her favorite brand of wine. You just want to create a relaxing experience. And, um,. Or you could have some cut up fruit or you could do a virgin um, mimosa with orange juice and sparkling cider. Like you get the point. You see where I'm going with this. But you're pampering her. So she's coming there. You have on the jazz. You're putting the neck warmer on. She has the mimosa or the fake mimosa, the glass of wine. And now um, you've asked her in advance. Um, oh, I forgot this idea. Or you could have pre-mixed margarita mix or faux margarita mix. And now you're ready to, um, what you have on hand, you're, I'm sorry, the products you have on hand, you're going to begin letting her experience those products. So you can make up one side of her face and then you can teach her how to make up the other side. Or you can make up her entire face. Or you could set her up to be pampered and have it set up where she's doing her own face but she's still being relaxed with the... Um, wrap around her shoulder or around her neck she has her glass of wine the jazz is playing and you're teaching her how to apply the product it's totally up to you but do you see how now you've created an experience she's there you know it's girlfriend time you're chit chatting and you're playing in makeup like how cool and fun is that and you're talking to her and you're getting to know about her and then you're not overwhelming her with a huge product setup so that's the other thing is we've learned and how to and we've we worked on minimizing the presentation and minimizing what we are presenting to people when we set up. So I'll share with you on a different video 
just some ideas of packaging because you want to sell in groups you're going to sell more when you sell in groups and then the client won't be overwhelmed so if you do some pre-work meaning call and find out what colors does she like what families does she like is it the pinks the nudes the browns the bronze um you know what is the family that she likes and then if you stay the warms or the cool so if you stay within that family and just make a grouping around it then you're not taking so much and you can just sell the grouping of what you know you have on hand and readily available and then the other thing so let's get started you're the expert you know your products you know what looks good on you and you know what looks good on her so you're going to be the one making the recommendations you're going to be the one leading and guiding her because you know what looks good on your clients you're going to be the business professional and the expert that you are so what does that mean you've got to know your products you've got to know your business you've got to present yourself with confidence and success and I think that's why a lot of times some of you all shrink back in your businesses because you're not as confident about the product line or you're not as confident about the about what you're selling you're not as confident about how to approach people and all you have to do is be yourself all of you are amazing women so just be yourself have fun make it light because women are looking to, to spend money they already spend money and I've given you just one idea of a store that's closing and a brand that's going out of business, right? And then make the recommendations and begin the beauty application. Relax, enjoy, and have a good time. Have fun. Now get this, before she comes over and when you're setting the appointment, go ahead and let her know that your makeovers are $50, right? So I didn't, you didn't hear me say, do it for free. So yes, you bought some wine, you maybe bought some cheese or some fruit, you know, just something really inexpensive. But go ahead and let her know that the makeovers are $50. And with that, she'll get to keep or take home with her up to the products that you use that were $50 so that would be a foundation a lip gloss and a lipstick or that may be a primer and a foundation and then she can purchase the rest of the items but again you're going to be placing them within a group and you already know that the average woman is going to spend up to $150 so you can do free pampering sessions it's totally up to you However, I had a client give me a call from Rocky Mount, I think it was Rocky Mount, and they wanted me to come down and do a bride's makeup. And I was like, well, I don't do makeup um, as a makeup artist, but and then I wasn't going to drive an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, or an hour and a half either just to do, you know, makeup, and I wasn't going to do it for free. And they were like, well, she's willing to pay you, but it just, I couldn't make it that day. But I could have easily made an extra 50 to $100 just driving down you know driving to Rocky Mount to do a makeover but I would rather do that locally so think about how far you're willing to go but women are willing to pay fifty to a hundred dollars for a glam over or a makeover when you go to the matte counter or when you go to any of the beauty counters they don't do it for free you have to commit to buying a product so as business professionals this is our business we get to dictate the rules we get to create the non-negotiables and we get to say hey I would love to give you a makeover but you have to commit to spending at a minimum fifty dollars you'll have some amazing products to take home with you there's no commitment for you to buy anything additional but that's the minimum cost of the makeover for us to get together and you're gonna we're gonna have a great time right so set the standard up front and don't be afraid to talk about money that's another talk that we'll have on a different day but I'm not afraid to charge clients because we've invested a lot of time in ourselves as professionals you've invested a lot of time in your skills as an individual as a woman as a professional as a business owner and so you're worth the money right and then the other thing is um, you want to keep product on hand because you are a professional so business women and business men are prepared they're always prepared they're always ready to do business and so you're prepared and ready to do business when you have your products on hand and readily available right and then let's say you do fifty to a hundred dollars that is what you charge for makeovers it's your business again you decide at a minimum but let's say at a minimum is fifty dollars and you did four glam overs a week right so fifty dollars a minimum you did four glam overs a week times four weeks in a month times 12 months in a year that's an additional two hundred dollars a week divided by I'm sorry multiplied by your 50 percent discount and you're gonna have earned forty eight hundred dollars so if you only did four glam overs a week at a minimum of fifty dollars you're gonna make an additional forty eight hundred that's almost five thousand dollars a year that you've added to your income now let's try it again 
Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'd like it if I could get a $5,000 raise, please. And I'd like it if it could go in my check now. Crickets. You know, because we can't go to our bosses and do that. And even if you own a company, like I own my own business, even in so doing that, I have to go find a new buyer or I have to go sell a listing before I can get that check. And even that check, most of the time, the average is somewhere around $3,500, $4,000. So I even still have to go find two other clients and work with them for almost six months, 90, to, 90 days to six months to get $4,800 just in the one check. So we can do that with makeup and lipstick and eyeshadow shadow like seriously it's not rocket science so that is I thought that was so cool so wow that's a close to a five thousand dollar raise for working just three extra hours a week what is that three extra hours a week one one and a half hours of less television um, I love this idea so I've just shown you two ways that you can net close to twenty thousand dollars combined if you did both of those things Wow. Okay. You can do that. It's too easy. And if you don't love your place or you're funny about people coming over, then borrow a friend's home. Use your mom's home. Use your brother or sister's home. You know, you decide, but don't make up excuses, right, as to why you don't, can't do it or don't do it because these are simple, easy to do ideas. And then did you know that what you send out comes back? What you believe you create, what you speak, you shall have. So if that's the case, why not send out, speak out, and believe for the very best? And then enthusiasm and confidence is, is contagious. It truly is. So I'm going to share. I don't want the video to get too long, so I'm going to do a separate video on some um, clients, like client ideas and um, tips that I want to share with you. So we're going to end this video here, but I hope that it was extremely helpful to you on the um, just success that you can have with just implementing those two basic um, ideas, $20,000, almost up to $20,000 annually that you can add to your income. And if you combine that, that would be six hours a week. It would be eight clients a week. But even if you didn't do that, three hours a week, four clients a week, you can do that to earn an additional almost $15,000 a year or an additional $4,800 a year. So I'll talk to you soon and I'll look for you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.